Good morning, everyone. We are here to explore how to do some feng shui fixes. I believe that you are a reflection of your space, and I would love to help you make that experience so much better. So if you're ready for that, you're going to love this uh, Facebook, or excuse me, YouTube live um, video today. My name is Kathleen Zamansky. I'm a business feng shui master, business astrologer, and the creator of the Time Blazer system. So one of the things I kind of stumbled upon um, this past month, and this is actually how I do a lot of my work anyway, I end up doing um, doing things for myself and see the true benefit of how it can really help myself, my husband, his work, my work. And so I start kind of releasing it to other people as well. I've been doing this for a while, but I I really decided that in during this time, I really wanted to do what I can to help you as we shelter in place. Your space is more important than ever. We are going to be in in and out of lockdown, no matter, no matter where you're located in the world, especially if you're located in the U.S., um, but it looks like um, other places are um, having a little bit of challenging to eradicate this COVID. So what I really encourage you to do is take a different perspective, a different look at how you're using your space. So what we're going to do is we're going to be specifically talking about the flying star system because this can give you quick results and all you have to do before I even get started, you don't have to worry about going out and buying anything. You don't have to go about worry about putting in any feng shui cures. I will suggest one here and there, but it's some it's things that you probably have in your house anyway. And really what I want you to do is just start using the space. Here is the secret, secret, secret to feng shui. Use the good energy, avoid the bad, period. Let me repeat that. Use the good, avoid the bad, period. So I can physically take my body and go into different areas of my home or office. And so if you have a large space, then go into each individual sectors that I'm going to be talking about. Or if you're just renting a room and you have 100% control over what you do in the room, in other words, what artwork that you happen to put up or how you situate a desk, what maybe, you know, how you're, you're doing other decorations as such. But Really, if you have control over that, that's an opportunity for you to tap into these good energies. And you know what? People say, oh, but I already have like a built-in or I can't really move. Um, you know what? This is a computer these days. Look how many texts and messages I have already today. But basically, you could take this and move into a different direction, right? So be a little bit flexible and open your mind so that you can open up some opportunities. All right, let's head on over to our uh, PowerPoint for today. And we are obviously still talking about and will for the next uh, several months talking about the uh, the wonders and perils of the uh, year of the metal rat. And so um, first of all, if you are new to our channel or are someone who is uh, already have been following us for a long time. We really do appreciate you following us. We appreciate your comments. We'd love to know what's happening in your life. So tell me, what are some of the issues that you are having in your life right now? Because I am sure there's an astrological, a feng shui, or timing solution to each and every one of those things. Now, you're going to have to do your efforts as well. This is not a magic bullet, and I really need to make that clear. If you're the type of person that thinks that you can hang an object or, you know, that's not really doing feng shui first and foremost, but if you are in that camp and think that magic is going to happen, that that wonderful relationship is going to come in or pennies are going to come in from heaven, eh, I'm really going to discourage you to start thinking with a little bit more broad scope because there's so many other tools that we can use. So with that, please subscribe, please leave your comments, 
please share because that will really help us a lot if you share and comment. And of course, ring that bell so that we can keep you up to date with all the information that we are going to be talking about as well. All right, so we are talking about some very, very, very big shifts that are happening in the year of the rat. We started a new decade. We are starting a new astrological uh, journey around the zodiac with the rat, and it goes all the way around the zodiac and finishes with the um, pig. So it really is um, a very important shift. And we've got other shifts going on as well, but for today's purposes, let's kind of stay focused on Flying Star. So here is my business model. It's person, space, and time, and actually spirit. I could add another ring around there, um, which we will be doing very shortly. But basically what I want you to know is your business astrology is so important. Your astrology in general is important to all of the aspects of your life. The space, which we're going to be talking about really uh, more in depth in during this video. And I just finished up another uh, YouTube live just a few moments ago that is called Time Blazer Tuesdays. So so go watch that as well if you want to find out what are your opportune times as far as timing is concerned in um, this upcoming week and how to get a free 30-day trial. All right, when I talk about the person, what I'm talking about is this beautiful chart right here. So there's a couple of ways that you can get this chart. One is go to freebusinessastrology.com. That link is below. And I really do recommend that you um, put in the people that you're sheltering in place with, because if you can understand what's going on in their life, that's going to be a much better opportunity for you to um, understand why they're behaving the way they are and things like that in your interactions with each other. Now, I've got linked below the month of the goat because we are in the month of the goat, but you can just go to my YouTube channel and just look at any one of the animals that you may have in your chart. And so we look at um, for most of our work, um, especially on this level, um, just for a YouTube, uh, YouTube live is our year, month, day, and hour of birth. And then, um, there, they have multiple, multiple significances, but just know that, um, basically your year is about your social circles, your marketing, your month is about your career, what you're best suited at your character, your out, your day of birth is going to be about you and your, um, uh, personal relationships and, your mindset very important i talked about that um quite a bit last in in the last video just a few moments ago that you know if you are if you don't have a clear mindset that can get more in the way of anything so you really have to work on that and your day of birth is where you can get your biggest help yourself so and then your hour of birth is about your um, brainstorming, your R&D, if you will, your research and development, as well as your um, your legacies and life purpose. So it's really important to really take take note of that, okay? All right, and then I'm going to uh, just tell you real quickly that, um, again, we are looking at the, the GOAT month, um, and that's very important. It's really important to understand timing and feng shui. So things when they are timely, they are favorable. When they are untimely, that's when things start going haywire. So what we what we're trying to do and this is this this carries through in everything I do. Your astrological chart has a timeliness to it. Like you should be doing certain things at certain times. The space is asking you to do certain things at certain times so it can perform for you. Your space is a reflection of yourself. So when you allow your space and, and take all of the energy of the space, harness that, use that energy, you're going to have a much better, easier path to getting the things you want. You want a promotion. You want to get a new job. You need to reboot because this whole dang COVID thing has collapsed your business. Start using these tools to give you the life ring, the help that can get you back on the right track. Again, I want to emphasize this is not a magic bullet. You still need to do the work, but this is what's going to augment and make things easier for you. Okay. All right. Um, now let's talk about just the goat a little bit. The goat month is absolutely one of the it is the actually the most favorable 
uh, month of the whole year. The goat has the most positive energy, but is it positive to you? Those are the things that you need to discover by just, you know, following me on my YouTube channels as well as, you know, some of the other social media channels. And then the, you're going to start figuring it out as well as, you know, hopping into some of my programs to, if you want to take that step a little bit deeper. And then just to the right of the screen, um, as you can see, that's the Time Blazer and there's an opportunity for you to get a th free 30 trial, 30 day trial and no credit card uh, required. But let's talk why you're here today, which is talking about the space. Now the space um, on this perfect model of person, space and time, as you can see, there's 33%, 33% and 33%. If you use these all efficiently, they're basically saying that you have 99% of your life already working on the right track. And that is assuming that you're doing the work of tapping into all of the good qualities of your chart, tapping into all the good qualities of your space and using a good date and time to trigger all of that energy. But let's face it, your, your chart may not be stellar this year. Um, your space may not even be stellar. You may have some missing corners. You may have, you know, some things that are not working really well for you um, that, uh, you know, maybe some things that are broken or, or an ill repair. Those are going to absolutely, absolutely start downgrading your space. You really have to understand that the space is there to perform for you. If you got a bunch of crap that's in a really vibrant area of the year, is that gonna perform for you? No, you need to get those areas cleaned up. And I do need to emphasize, um, I'm not a, uh, there's a couple things I'm not. I'm not a, a professional organizer. That's something you need to do on yourself. I'm just gonna say this area, clean it up, clean it up and good she will follow. Um, then if it's an area that you need to leave undisturbed, uh, I'm not really crazy that you got cluttered there, but it might be better just to leave it there for this year because we've already entered into this time cycle. Okay. All right. So um, then let's go back to our uh, PowerPoint here and let's talk about the flying star of the year. And uh, I'll tell you at the end, there's some links below if you want to already directly head over that way, but there's links below that will tell you how to get the annual charts. Um, this is just here more for teaching purposes, but you'll actually get a feng shui, uh, the flying star and feng shui dial um, with um, the, the link that I have be below, but it's freecompassdial.com. But let's talk about this particular dial. This is what is showing up annually. And so what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about the, um, oops, I have a little mistake in my, in my typing. I think we are talking about the Southwest today, even though it says West on here, we, uh, on the, on the tag here. So my apologies for that. We are talking about the Southwest sector. So it is a four and it is about creativity. So maybe we can fix that title after. I don't know if we know if we can or not, but anyway, we're talking about the Southwest sector today. So we're, we're going to now move on to, um, what we are going to be looking at on a monthly basis. So what I want you to take note of all of the annual energies is on this monthly dial and the month is from August 6th, J uh, July 6th through August the 6th. So these are where I want you to either make a decision to either be in this area or avoid the area for the month due to the monthly influences that are happening. So we're talking about the Southwest that has a nine and a four. The four is from the annual energies and the annual energies are always going to be the right hand number that you will see in any individual box. The left hand number is what the monthly influence is. So now what the game is, is to see how the nine four are interacting together in the Southwest Palace. Okay, so first of all, like we said, that the four is about creativity. So we love to be able to, you know, influence the creativity by just being in there. So if you feel like you're some, someone that never can come up with good ideas or something like that, this is maybe an area you should start hanging out on. If you wanna be more creative um, as far as some sort of hobby or activity, because you know what, creativity, when you think about it, they always are sparked by a new idea, right? So 
you need to let your creativity flow. Sometimes we need to play a little bit more. So, you know, whether you do things like, you know, just put on a YouTube video and maybe dance or put on a YouTube video and learn how to paint, turn on a YouTube video, you can learn anything on YouTube as we all are finding out. So this is where you can actually get your more creativity flowing a little bit. So you have to be in that sector to actually tap into it though. Now the nine is very interesting. And the nine, what we have here is, um, this is really about relationships. It's it's a fire energy and the fire energy is about happiness um, as we've, we've talked about um, in past videos. But basically when you put the nine four together, what it really is combining to is let's talk about business first and I'm because that really is my jam and then we're going to go and talk about you know some things personally as well but this is about expanding your networks so if you are one of those people out there that are um, wanting to do things like this like live streaming or you know doing something that you um, might be even just starting out on uh, YouTube or some of the other channels this is where you want to do some research about that and even do some of your testing to um, start being that moving into that influencer type of um, uh, performance, if you will, in your business. So you want to, you want to do this and then time is a ticking. As you know, this is going to end on August the 6th, where some new energy is going to be in this sector. Okay. So, and I really need you to know, I really need to know from you, are you liking this type of information? Cause it does take a little bit of time to put this together for you. So if you like it, I will continue it. So please put below that you like it, what you like about it and how I can continue to help you. Okay. All right. So if you are looking to attract a new team, um, this is a very, this is a very important sector to to hang out in. So you want to attract the right team, right? So this is going to help you discern the right people coming your way. If you want to do some joint ventures, if you want to start an affiliate program, if you're starting a community, this is where you want to hang out to get some ideas on how best to serve your community and really start getting new members. And you can even look at it as a membership site. If you're starting to do that with your business, um, which is a very sustainable way of looking at your business, this is something that you want to think about and hanging out there. And this will, if you start um, following this information, this is actually going to help you have some financial gain. Now you will also feel more confident. That's really actually helping the, the big help of the nine, um, of the relationship part. The nine is really helping you be more confident and it is actually helping you play an a game to your fullest potential. So this combination, love it, love it, love it. And this sector will also help you increase your vitality for you to perform at your peak. So if you're having a little bit of low energy this month, I would actually go hang out in the Southwest because that fire is actually gonna help you really start hitting your A game. So now this is also good for relationships. So if you are thinking about, um, you know, again, in the US we're pretty much in lockdown. So if you're trying to get into a new relationship, it's not as easy as just going hanging out um, in you know some social social place because one due to social distancing two a lot of those places are being re-locked down in the state of California I'm gonna be very honest I'm in California and we're in not a good situation right now but other parts of the country are in other parts of the world they're already reopening things like museums and restaurants and things like that. So it's going to be a little bit easier to get out on a date, if you will. But if you are someone who is in lockdown, well, try this for your online profiles. Do your Zoom dates, meetups, and things like that because it is going to be easier. And, and honestly, I took a very long time to um, really even start dating or getting in, um, engaged, and then you know, you know, to the husband, to my husband. So you know, I really. Really kind of like that friend force barrier that we have right now. I think it's a safer environment anyway to really get to know someone before you take that next leap, but not great, I guess, for, for someone um, who is just trying to hook up. 
I don't know how you can do that on this days. That's beyond my, my, my scope or interest right now. But I realize that that is a viable thing that is happening. You know, being in shutdown for so long, we really are lacking that human touch, right? So really connecting with people this Southwest area is super, super, super good for that. So I really want you to think about um, how you can improve your relationships as well as um, building your teams, your collaborations um, with other people because that's really what it's good for. All right, let's go back and see what else we have for you today. Um, so what I've also done is I've indicated with some icons on how you can, um, you know, just look at this pictorially as well. If they're red, there's a little bit of caution. Go back and listen to those videos if you want to hear about those areas as well. And I will keep adding those as we move around the, the floor plan here. But again, this is great for team building, great for building communities, great for influencers. We've got the happiness. It's going to give you vitality. And of course, it is also great for looking at um, relationships and, and making them stronger. Okay, this is how you will see it on a feng shui uh, flying star dial. So um, what you just need to do is get, a, get your accurate floor plan. And um, again, if you would like access to these dials, just go to freecompassdial.com, which is also located below. And then you can see we have the four here. You know, actually, I want to go back a slide because because, well, you know what? I will talk about that uh, tomorrow. Nope, you know what? Why I leave it tomorrow what I can talk about today. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the annual dial. Remember when I said the 9-4 or 4-9? Um, that was good for creativity. It's also good for investments. But when you put those two together, we have... Um, so this is sort of a little insider trick. If you have the Southwest and West open to each other and you keep going back and forth from those two areas, just walking back and forth and using those areas as much as possible, you are actually creating that 9-4 situation. And this is actually a powerful combination in feng shui anyway. Um, don't want to get too advanced on you. Just believe me when I tell you that this is a great way to actually be using your space um, for really important um, work that you want to get done this year. So it really is a really nice really nice uh, setup for the Southwest and West and actually even the Northwest. We can talk about that kind of at the end. All right. So I do want to uh, talk about my feng shui dial though this year. Um, here's the down and dirty of it. Use the green, avoid the red anywhere you see red. Now you're going to see some green and white, green and green and red over here. We'll talk about that more extensively when we get to the east. My biggest caution, you can be in the goat area. I love the goat area, but as a matter of fact, you have the goat, earth, and monkey. So as you know, you have this whole pie shell, um, not including the central palace. We're just looking at this in your floor plan. It, you can use that area without harm. You just don't want to do any renovation whenever you see this three killing and it goes across three animals, you want to avoid renovations in there. You can absolutely be, uh, and this is renovations um, inside or outside of your, your building. But what I want to um, tell you is this is a very good place for you to be. And we're in the, we're in the month of the goat. So it's really much stronger this month as well. So Give it a try and see what you um, think about that. Okay, real quick, um, I just wanted to just give a quick shout out for the Time Blazer. The Time Blazer is a uh, proprietary personalized calendar system that I created 10 years ago, actually. And now it's digital and we are just about ready to um, do some interesting things with the Time Blazer, which I will talk about um soon, but um, this is what the Time Blazer month view looks like. I just did a Time Blazer Tuesday that just happened a couple of um, uh, moments ago, so go back and see what the month, uh, what the upcoming week will look like, and then I'll show you a bunch of filters in there as well. And then again, um, of course, I would love for you to subscribe, 
um, comment, share, and hit that bell. And of course, like. So really, we need to know what um, you are thinking about this um, new program that I am um, putting out to let me know if this is something that you like or not. And if it's not, we can sh shift it up. So just tell us what you like. Um, and we do thank you for your fo following, of course. It's been certainly a great pleasure to be on live with you. And But it's kind of lonely here by myself. So please let us know what you're thinking about the, this new um, series that we are doing with Feng Shui Fixes, as well as what else would you like to know? Do you want to know a little bit more about astrology? Do you want to know more um, different things about Feng Shui or, or timing? And then we also have the spiritual, which is called Universal Gateway. In Chinese, it's called Qimin Dun Jia. But there's so many tools that are there for you to tap into, but you have to use them. And all of the things that I do present are very timely. This is not where you hit, I watch later, because you know what, if you watch this in August, you're gonna miss the boat. Get on the boat, take a nice ride, okay? All right, you guys, we'll see you um, tomorrow. And we are gonna talk about the West. I just was so excited about that 9-4, I suppose. So we'll talk about the West tomorrow, and we will see you um, sometime during the day when we get ready to go live. I wish I could say I have an exact time, but I'm kind of working around other appointments that we do have. So um, look forward to seeing you tomorrow to talk about what's happening in the West, which looks pretty good for so many reasons. See you tomorrow. Bye.